Kusum is lucky to identify her loved ones. She will fly back to India with the bodies for proper ceremonies. It's all right. Thank you. I cannot imagine your actions like this on the streets of Toronto. I think I have a match. You want me with you when you look at the photos? They performed miracles. We are indebted to them. No! When they've been in the water for a while, love. They look a little bit heavier, so try to adjust your memory. It's not him! I'd know! I'm his mother! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I really thought we had a match. You bastard! You think we're smuggling contraband of those coffins? Stay longer. Canada is a cold place. Why would you want to be all by yourself? Vikram wouldn't have wanted you to give up things. You know, the dead aren't cut off from us. My grandmother, a spoiled daughter of a rich Zamindar. Shave her head with rusty razor blades when she was widowed at 16. My grandfather died of childhood diabetes when he was 19. And she saw herself as the heartbringer of bad luck. My mother grew up without parents, raised indifferently by an uncle. While her true mother slept in a hut behind the main estate house and took her food with the servants, she grew up as a rationalist. My parents abhor mildness mortification. The Zabindar's daughter kept stubborn faith in Vedic rituals. My parents rebelled. I am trapped between two modes of knowledge. At 36, I am too old to start over and too young to give up. Like my husband's spirit, I flutter between worlds. My parents are arranging a marriage for me. You're beautiful. What are you doing here? Shall I stay? You must finish alone what we have started together. Did you feel something weird in there? No, nothing. There are still hysterical relatives, 
Judith Templeton's list of those needing help and those who've accepted is nearly in perfect balance. You've done an impressive job, Judith. In the textbook of grief management, there are stages to pass rejection, depression, acceptance, and reconstruction. None of you still reject reality, but only a handful are reconstructing. The press acceptance is the plateau we've reached. Remarriage is a major step in reconstruction. Can you help me with the case of this old couple? I have visited them twice, but they seem so scared to sign papers. They believe they are selling their sons for two airline tickets to places they've never been. Namaste. I too have lost my sons and my husband in the crash. God provides and God takes away. My boys and my husband are not coming back. We have to understand that. This young lady is always coming here. We make tea for her and she leaves paper for us to sign. Soon we'll be out of tea, then will she go away? I have asked my neighbors and no one else gets angry visitors. What have we done? It's her job. The government is worried. Soon, you will have no place to stay. No lights, no water, no gas. Government will get its money. Tell her not to worry. We are honorable people. No, it's not their intention to take money. Let them take. We are accustomed to that. There is no problem. We are strong people. Tell her that. Who needs all this machinery? It is unhealthy. The bright lights, the cool air on a hot day, the cold food, the four gas rings. God will provide, not the government. When our boys return. Have you convinced them? If they can write their names, an X mark will do. Please thank her for the tea. Danyavad kay Kusham Kaili. You see what I'm up against? I'm sure they're lovely people, but their stubbornness and ignorance are driving me crazy. They think signing a paper is signing their son's death warrants, don't they? Now, Shyla, this next woman is a real mess. She cries day and night and she refuses all medical help we may have to. Let me out of the subway. I beg your pardon? Is there anything said? Anything I did? Shaila, let's talk about it. My husband's old lawyer helps me set up a trust. Vikram was a saver and a careful investor. He had saved the boys' boarding school and college fees. I sell the pink house at four times what we paid for it and take a small apartment downtown. I am looking for a charity to support. Now, at least, they admit it was a bomb. Dear Shyla, I'm in hard war, that my life is now serene. I have seen Sarish, and I've heard my daughter sing again her favorite pageants when I was on a pilgrimage. The voice came from a young girl in the hot fanning coals. She is an exact replica of my daughter, and when I appeared, she exclaims, Ma, and then run away. What do you think of that? I listen, I pray. But Vikram has not returned to me. The voices and the shapes and the nights filled with visions ended abruptly.
I do not know where this voyage I have begun will end. I do not know which direction I will take.